for me, this aspect, this part of the exhibition uh, is about engagement and embodiment and activating of the senses. So the first place to do that is exactly here in the tea room where your sense of smell is addressed, your sense of taste is addressed. Um, there's a haptic feeling uh, to the table that's very special. So all of the aspects of the room uh, address the multiple senses. I think that the entire exhibition was conceptualized as more of a situation than an exhibition. Basically, we're merging two formats. We're like taking the very traditional format of the exhibition that presents artworks in distinct spaces between white walls, thereby turning an object into an artwork. And we're now taking that and we're introducing situations into it. And these situations kind of align one next to the other, together forming, I think, uh, an experience an experience that will be new and unexpected in this kind of space and environment. Also wenn wir die Ausstellung vergleichen mit einem Fußballspiel, dann ist das so, dass normalerweise alle Spiele gleich sind. Ja? Was sie unterscheidet, ist, dass es andere Spieler gibt, aber die Regeln sind immer gleich. Und was Welt ohne Außen macht, ist, dass wir die Regeln ändern. Wir haben zum Teil die gleichen Spiele, aber wir haben auch andere Spiele, die sonst nie vorkommen. I think about it like a traditional experience, I think, uh, sorry, traditional exhibition. So I don't think about the experience first, I think of it as well, but I, I am trying to think of an art historical argument saying like immersion is not some new kind of notion, it's what artists have been busy with since the 60s. 